address. How do I reach these kids? All right, in this video, I'm going to talk a little bit about how the zero of potential energy is arbitrary. So, earlier we learned that the, uh... <laughs> what did we learn earlier, Paul? Having these jiggling uh, fluctuations and so forth, that's the thing we're talking about is thermal energy. <laughs> <laughs> you assholes. <laughs> All right, so in the notes we talked a little bit about this idea of thermal energy. Um, and the concept here is that uh, when you have uh, a material that has atoms in it, well, all materials have atoms in them. <laughs> Point 0.2 joules. Uh, so that this actually gives us a sense of how much uh, thermal energy is required to raise something up by one degree. <laughs> I, I just don't remember what the point is. The point is that in the case of the high temperature block, you have um, thermal energy that is leaving the system. I think I just screwed this up, actually. I, I should have not put these up. I should have done the, sorry. Term in the potential energy or the, uh, the, the, you know, the work that's done uh, at this location, that's totally messed up. I messed that up. <laughs> um, that's not what I meant to say at all. Because I did an object that I did, 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 did. Got nothing for you. It's just this plain catch up. It's not. That's all it is. It's plain catch. <laughs> okay. Okay. Okay, in this video, we're going to talk a little bit about multiparticles. Damn it! <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. Force. <laughs> A multi-particle system. I totally messed this up, actually. In this video. <laughs> <laughs> We've done a couple of steps here. This is step one, calculating the force. Step two is updating the velocity. Step three. I f <laughs> yeah, that. Which we just denote as v. So this velocity is, I don't know what I'm going to say now, <laughs> I got lost there. All right, in this video, we're going to talk a little bit about gravitational potential energy. <laughs> <laughs>